In this video, we're going to go over some relatively new additions to the Primitives tool in 3D Code 4.5. So I'm going to scroll in my tool panel down to the Objects section under Primitives. And if I click on some of the other objects here, you can see you have a standard Transform Gizmo on many of these. And others you have some new additional rotation widgets that were not previously available. Reset axis and same thing for the cone, capsule, and these different cylinders as well as the gear. And as you may have seen with the gear you can always change its depth of the teeth, sharpness of the teeth, the number, the inner radius, and so on. With the lathe, you now have a vertical orientation of the profile rather than it being horizontal as it was previously. Okay, so this is much more intuitive because most of your objects are shaped or elongated in a vertical fashion rather than horizontal. So, yeah, you can tweak the overall shape, change the spline type, get some really interesting effects here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that to this particular layer. Hit apply, come out of that, I'll increase the resolution. In fact, I'll just go ahead and clear this give myself more resolution, go back, primitives, now I'll hit apply, give it a different shader, okay, so the next thing we want to look at is the text primitive which is relatively new inside the primitives tool you have some new options here that allow you to click in place just as you can with many of the other primitives now. So what I can do is use click to place and it will give me some additional options. Do I want to scale to brush radius and do I want to use stroke direction? In this case let's say yes. So I can be on the other side of this object and click on it so it scaled that text to the same size as my brush radius and it repositioned it and it also used the stroke direction so let's try that here let's scale it up a bit now how would I wrap this around the object you have the ability to bend and I can change the numeric value here or use the slider to interactively conform it. Let's say I'm off just a little bit. I can just click conform to surface and it does a relatively good job all on its own. can tweak it just a bit. You can invert the bending and so on. Let's choose Subtract, and then I'll hit Apply. And I'll choose this spring, move it out of the way. Use this center point to move it in screen space. Can rotate it. I'll uncheck Click to Place. Change the diameter to 5, 20,
We now have a, a Taurus as well. We just a standard gizmo. So that's a quick look at the new additions to the Primus tool in 3D Coat. Hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.